How's it going everyone? We're back in the garage again. Now, in my last video you probably saw the uh, stripes and the various um, wrapped details being applied to this car. The red, black and white theme is now, com well, it's almost complete. Uh, that's the job for today is to uh, finish that uh, red, black and white theme. So the bits I'm going to be doing are these chrome 50 badges, which do actually look black in this light. <laughs> there we go. Chrome 50 badges, they're going to be uh, made black with a little white dot. I did ask about those um, being wrapped by uh, Andy at Mint Tints, but they reckon that uh, they're too finicky and too, too detailed to, for uh, uh, for wrapping. Uh, the problem with painting is uh, you've got obviously got to take them off and then key the surface. If you don't get the uh, finish primed perfectly on chrome, it flakes off quite easily. So um, the perfect product to uh, coat those is going to be Plasti Dip. I've used Plasti Dip a few times and usually get that uh, that matte finish, but I've also gone and bought some Glossifier. Here we go. This stuff to uh, go over the top of it, which is uh, going to give it that glossy appearance. So what I'm going to do is uh, paint it black, and then I've got a little piece of uh, white vinyl that I'm going to use for this for the as a sticker for the little dot, and then apply the uh, the Glossifier to uh, one give it the glossy appearance, and two to seal that dot in to stop it from uh, peeling off. And then since I've got these fancy new wheels. You can see uh, all kinds of uh, things through the through the wheels, like the the ugly, um, rusty, or well, slightly rusty brake calipers and the slightly rusty discs. So what I'm going to be doing is uh, coating these in some high temperature black enamel. So uh, the caliper, the rear calipers, I can't even see anything in there, can you? So the rear calipers are going to be um, gloss black, uh, and then also the silver bit around the uh, like the hub area. And, and the non-contact brake surface are going to be in black, so I'll take the discs off to do those. And I'm also going to be painting the Brembo's at the front. And uh, I did mention that we're going for a red, black and white colour scheme on this car. Now red is the obvious choice for calipers, but uh, with white being kind of my like accent colour, my highlight colour, uh, I'm going to go for something a little bit different. Now this could possibly be the uh, biggest mistake ever, painting brake calipers in white because what goes with brake calipers is lots of brake dust. So I've got some um, Foliatec brake caliper painting kit. So I'm just going to use that paint just for the front, and then obviously the, the rear calipers are just standard, not fancy like six pot Brembo's or anything like that. I don't really want to draw too much attention to them, so they're going to stay black, whereas the front's going to be white, and I've got some little high temperature Brembo decals to, uh, to stick over the top. So I started the process earlier on the drive, I gave everything a good steam clean. I, uh, I don't know how much difference it's actually made, but I had it, so I thought I might as well use it. And then I give everything a, a good clean down with the wire brush. So I'll uh, start off some fancy music and uh, splice in that footage, and then we'll get on with doing what shall I do today? I think I'll start with the uh, the plastic dip badges tonight, and then get on with the other things maybe tomorrow. Oh, look at this that I did today! Scuffed it on garage door just days after getting the bloody thing wrapped. Key when working with plastic dip, that's all it needs for the first coat, a little light mist. And then it goes back on radiator. disappointing I've just uh, weeded off all the excess around the edge and it's gone and pulled off some uh, main bit with it see there that chrome bit showing through but the actual um, design looks pretty good with that white dot 
I'll see how the other one goes, but I think what I'll do is I'll just end up spending 50 quid for some black badges and stick me a little dot on those. So well, let's see if this other one comes off all right. I'll fall in one. Perfect, that one. This one looks a bit messy in comparison. It's annoying. It'll work as a temporary solution. Or at least I get to see what it looks like matching in with the the white stripe. Right, so progress update. As you've just seen those 5-0 badges, one came out alright, other one didn't. So I'm going to end up spending 50 quid and just putting myself a little white dot on the uh, painted ones anyway. Rear calipers are looking pretty good. We'll be able to see with it being so dark. You just have to take my word for it, they look pretty good. <laughs> I left the uh, brake pads in on those because back said brake pads were quite uh, dirty and rusty and uh, they were all going black anyway. So uh, I just masked off the actual brake pad face and uh, and like the little rubber bits and the little bleed nipple and just sprayed everything down there. The discs are still outside, they're drying, it's still a bit tacky so I'm going to leave them. Uh, obviously I masked up the uh, contact area on the disc just roughly because I think any excess uh, overspray will just um, get whipped off with the brake pads with you know, the first time I hit the brakes anyway so they're looking quite pretty good with the uh, black um, edging uh, where the little vented bits it, bit, a bit is and the the main like hub area looks a lot better in black than like a rusty silvery colour. As for the fronts, oh, can't see anything down there either. I need some more lights in this garage or at least a better camera lens. But uh, I spent hours trying to get the uh, pins out of these, these front brakes in order to remove the brake pads. I wanted to strip them down as best I could to give them a thorough, thorough paint job. Yeah, the pins were seized in. <laughs> so uh, that took me ages whacking it with a big hammer. But they're out now, so hopefully it'll go back together easily enough. So uh, I just need to uh, re-clean those because I've sprayed them all with uh, plus gas and you know, penetrating oil so uh, I'll have to re-clean them with wire brush and uh, brake, um, brake cleaner uh, and then I'll be ready to start painting. Right, it's night time now, my daughter's in bed. I'm going to spend a night with the Mustang. <laughs> uh, I'm ready to get these calipers finished off. So uh, heater's on, I'm going to stick some music on. Um, each coat takes 15 minutes to dry so hopefully I'll be able to sit and do one then uh, go and do the other one while that's drying then come back and do the first one again. So. Uh, I'm just going to crack on now, get a time lapse going, and uh, I'll show you the finished result. Right, I think I'm ready to call it a night. The trouble is with this, uh, this stuff, you never know when to stop, you just keep going at it and it just ends up making it worse. But uh, it's levelling quite well. Uh, there's a couple of little runs where I've put too much on, but uh, I'll show you what it's looking like so far. Probably the world's worst idea, painting brake calipers white. <laughs> They're not going to stay that white for long, probably. But uh, I guess I can steam clean them every so often. I still don't know whether it needs another coat, but it's... You can see, look at that run. Uh, no. Trouble is, it's, it's going off, so it's like the more I try and add to it, the more it's pulling and dragging along. So I don't know. Let's see how it dries, I guess. Yeah, I think best thing to do is just leave it and uh, see what it's looking like in the morning, and then try and get all that tape off. I've got a feeling those uh, bits of tape that are bunged into the little pinholes aren't going to come out <laughs> once they're uh, dried in there. But I'll check in again in the morning, and uh, that's when I can uh, put my little Brembo stickers on as well, just to finish them off.
Right, that's a job done. Got all the uh, pads back in the calipers. Uh, got the Brembo stickers on, they're looking pretty good. I'd got uh, both uh, black and red, so I cut them both in half. Used the red little Brembo uh, icon logo against the Brembo text, so that looks pretty cool. Look at that looking dirty already, just from knocking those pins back in. I've also reinstalled the discs on the rear, so you can kind of get an idea of what they're going to look like with the black faces. You can still see the rough masking outline, but like I said, hopefully that'll get whizzed off first time I apply the brakes. I think I'm going to have to make you wait till you get to see the full effect with the wheels on because it seems the car's already jacked up on axle stands. I think I'm going to uh, tackle the uh, springs next. So uh, stay tuned to the channel to see the outcome of that. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.